<laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, crazy start to this one. I'm going to have to go down a little bit, aren't I? Uh, but yeah, very excited to get into this series. Cannot wait to see how this one rolls out. We've got a very, very exciting respawn series ahead of us, I think, Chance. Search and destroy. Hey, man, who knows? It could be a, a great day for the guys at Seattle Surge. It could be, you know, back to business. But here we go. They're looking at the maps and moons, which did skip on the desk. Hotel, double Silo, Hydro, Fortress. Chance, anything crazy there that sticks out for you? Well, obviously, Search and Destroy is sort of the name of the game for Seattle. We have beaten that talking point to death. However, maps three and map four have basically been auto vetoes for Surge the entire year. And like, they're now two for two for choosing Hydro to play. So a map that previously they banned all the time. Now they're getting things in the mix. So I think Seattle post major two have been making significant adjustments, not just to Search and Destroy, but their entire game. So uh, I think sort of like sneakily Surge have been working on things behind the scenes. Let's we'll see what happens again all of this is just practice for champs right that's what the game is let's find out what the game happens here though over to hotel hardpoint map number one we roll max the man on the time la thieves it's a classic look here on the opening break the tags are in it's three down it's all over to sib and that should be the hard point for the thieves yeah, super controlled opening break. Get the ARs posted up. L triggered watching over your teammate inside the hill. And they haven't read the spawns just yet because accuracy has ended up taking a, a pretty long route to go on this flank. And you see Seattle looking to break it down. Final few trades coming through. And accuracy eventually, as soon as he jumps into the play, gets the final two piece and gets Seattle that time. Yeah, it's a lovely time to add as well. There's 15 plus seconds now to go into the back of the bank over towards the back side of the hotel though now. Kenny's going to get a little bit of fresh air before hitting a sweet corner to stop the push now from Seattle Surge. They're looking towards that P2 hard point. That's the lobby. That's the right-hand side of the mini-map. And here comes the hit, Kenny. He's got all the positioning in the world, but no problem. His teammates got the kills from the front. Good luck from the thieves. That's the first hit slow down. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Kenny's only job is not to die. His teammates get all the kills for him, and he blocks those spawns, and now gets to jump on the play and pick up the two-piece just to slow the approach down. And you see, as soon as a player like Matt crosses, that's just Octane feeding the comms. He's going to be out towards the back, and like clockwork, LAT, everything covered. They know exactly where the players on Seattle are coming up. And for the moment, not really feeling too much pressure on this game. And if Fred gets that kill, maybe the pressure opens up just a bit. But these are looking nice and secure. Well, this might be the pressure. It hasn't quite finished yet. Sib's going to be the last go. man there on the play. He cleans up the kills. That's going to be a hard point now for Seattle. However, they haven't quite identified the remaining members of the LA Thieves. Most of them on the rotation towards new. Only one staying right towards the old there. So a little bit of time wasted there on P2 towards the end for Seattle, but still nothing too much of a problem. Can they win the fight for Kitchen now, though? All down to Mac and the 1v2 here, trying to find a couple of shots in and out of the most difficult gunfights you may find here on the map. Well, for right now, Seattle just been behind the game, so they're forced to break into these hills, and this is probably the most difficult one to break of the ones they've had to jump on, and instantly, the door just gets closed on them. A three-man wipe in accuracy. He gets sniffed out as well. Good trades through and through, and that's sort of the problem of, like, yes, yeah, Seattle might be able to collect that scrap time, but if you're consistently behind on these rotations, eventually, you're going to get punished, and so far, it's looking like the kitchen hill has been the one that delivers for LAT. Here we go, Faith. Plus seconds remaining on this one. Trying to get in. Sib with a nice bit of shots there with a bad snip. Not really enough to get too much more out of it. 25 remaining. Trophies all over the place. Pred, though, in the feed. He might be the man. Keep this play alive and kick. And Kenny cuts him in half on the backside. Plat the kitchen there. And that should be the end of it. Five spree there from Kenny. Now, with that being said, let's see how the thieves are going with a quick listen in. I'm I'll get right back. You push out of the bar? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go left. Yeah, I'm gonna go left. Yeah, Alright, one is in bottom bed. Alright, I'm gonna yeah. play the lobby down here. Yeah, I'm gonna help you miss it. Do you get like that? One is in bottom bed. Right back to the lobby. Alright, sir. 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 Oh, I'm 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 living. I'm gonna tell what you do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I got time. Wait, wait, wait. Right out there. Wind it. Nice job. What did you do? Wait, wait, wait. Well, 
just like that, the comms for LAT might be on cruise control, but the gameplay was from Surge. Finally, they get ahead of rotations and turn that into a good chunk of time and hey, built the most sizable lead of the game. Sizal trying to hold on to it now, though. They've got a little bit of a battle to work through on the inside of the restaurant envoy. Nice flank. Nobody get the kill, though. Oh, he's making it a fight against Pred. Just about wins it. Accuracy there on the outside. Clean hard point wipe there. Seattle Surge, the time's theirs. I mean, hey, hey, they might have been behind the game early on, but if the breaks have been this consistent on every single hill, they can make the best out of a bad situation. Maybe Kenny trying to be the fry man for the squad, though. He's got 16 kills. You feel like you'd be getting more value long-term out of them, but it's only these final 10 seconds. And this is a rotation I wish my ranked play teammates would pay more attention to of LA Teves and Seattle. All the pressure is back kitchen, even though the hill is on plat. It's because if you get ARs in those positions, you get the guys out of the hill. So that's where you apply the pressure that's where you try to make the break from and see how la2 are able to fare oh when you talk about your rank play teammates you may as well just say it to my face with that being said now we're going to dive to a listener with seattle surge so that i can compose myself after that dig bottom bed one shot one shot guys back 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 he's laying down back is he bottom bed yeah he's laying down back Nice. Oh, 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 yeah, now the last guy in the hill for LAT, as you can see, Surge are just swarming all over the map. Flipping spawns, getting shot in the back. His accuracy is basically putting you in the pinch at the exact same time. And Mac doing the world tour just to be able to clear out couches and try to accrue maybe this little bit of time and able to deliver. That is a massive route that turns into a two-piece on the hill. And Surge have been able to do that every single time on this P1 hill. We promised a good respawn, and it is a banger so far. Here comes the last bit of pressure towards P1 before we have to go over towards that lobby side. Seattle Surge in position over here. Pred's going to be the man first in. Every possible corner now should have a Seattle Surge tushy in it. Get ready for the hit from the Thieves. Here they come. It's going to be through that bar site. Sips the first man in. First kill goes his way. The second as well. Trade it out. Here's the next wave of attack though from the LA Thieves. Not quite out of this yet. Mac finds another. That's a clean set of kills. Last man Kenny tagged up. Easy reads. More time to Seattle. Yeah, and Siv on this side of the map has just been the straight up difference maker for the team. And now you get Preg to snap in position after the fact and clean up those kills. Nice little six spree for him. Get the cruise missile and maybe just the stamp on the game. If you're LAT, I don't know if you want to bother with Preg's side of the map. Maybe try a different angle, but this is just going to be Siv's side and they deal with Preg, they deal with Siv and that dynamic duo just locking both sides down. Smoking them. 20 seconds left. The game will not end here, but it is going to get very close indeed. Oh, a big win from Monvoy in the back. Stops the bleeding for a moment. Rotation's down. LA Thieves are in. Can they make something of this? Pred wins another absolute stinker. Matt gets his on the inside of the kitchen, and that could be game. I mean, this is just the absolute torture. Look at how far away Thieves are just to try to think about this rotation. I mean, Octane's in position. Envoy maybe not too far behind, but it's another 10 seconds before you can think about even contesting the time, let alone about winning the gunfights to get there. It's a couple trades early on, but now it's a snake battle inside a kitchen. Oh, good luck. Accuracy on the back door. Here comes Envoy. Doesn't read the corner. Here's the hit towards the front. It's clean kills. It's done. It's over. It's all Seattle all day there on Hotel. What a closeout, son. Didn't see that one coming. The GG's. So I'll take the first. I mean, that is just an instant game as well. I mean, I think LAT won the first rotation up through like Kitchen. Then Sib goes on like a five spree on the rotation over towards desk. And after that moment, Seattle literally never looked back. As soon as they got control of the game, 
they held it firmly in their grasp. They just started taking him to task. And I mean, you had a pretty lights out performance, at least early on from Kenny. I, I mean, in the kill feed, he was ever present. It just did not make a difference towards the end. 11 and 22 out of Octane, 11 and 20 out of Drazit, nearly double negative for Envoy as well. Uh, as soon as the slang kicked up, just a notch, not even like an absurd amount for Seattle. It just turned into a snowball effect and they ran them over like a truck. That is a, a clinical performance. If you have more non traded than nearly every single player had kills for Pred versus LA Thieves, you know you're getting the dub. It was looking great at the start for the LA Thieves there, but wow, only one player able to manage to get over 2,000 damage alone. Kudos to Kenny for that one, but not quite enough from the rest of the squad. Here are the highlights from that first map. And wow, I'll tell you what, Seattle Surge came to play today. We'll see if the Search and Destroy treats them as kindly as that Hotel Greenberg did. But for now, a wonderful way to start the series. Chance, you know they need those big respawn wins. Aimless had a 3-1 on the desk. He might not be wrong, but this series could go the distance. Well, we'll see if it goes the distance, but I know the big question for Seattle has been the search and destroy. Uh, obviously, it's only been one map in this stage that we have seen them, but they, it was like night versus day for how they looked in stage one and two uh, in that game mode compared to the performance that they had. They were making moves all over the map. They're all over the map, and Mac was absolutely frying. <laughs> so uh, I think if Seattle get anywhere near that level of performance in this series, uh, obviously they're going to be in a fantastic spot. It's Elisila. We're going to. LA Thieves love to play on that map, all for a 3-8 and eight record overall. So uh, I think Surge are going to be feeling themselves after that one. All four players positive, accuracy on point as well. Uh, anytime the team KD is a 1.4, you're Jesus. feeling great going into new. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this is two runner-up teams from the majors so far here in the year. Will they make another at the upcoming Texas major? We'll find out in a couple of weeks. But for now, Seattle Search, LEDs, you know they've both got that dog in them. We'll see what happens on Elisilo now. Search and Destroy coming up next. This is going to be a fun one indeed, Chance. As you said at the start of the series, Surge looking to broaden the map pool, looking to get reps on the maps they don't necessarily have the finest records on. And for now, LA Thieves, big fans of El Asilo. Will they find the crazy madness here, or will it be another crazy victory for the fellas of Seattle Surge? Because Chance, what was it? Almost hit the record for Search and Destroy losses in a row. Unheard of for a roster of this caliber that we've seen since their inception in Vanguard. And also absurd to hear a player just say that you're not even like, you know, trying 100% uh, in a certain game mode for the S&D practice. I know Mac talked about it uh, in the most recent interview that they had, but just that acknowledgement. Like I know Search and Destroy is a weird one to scrim because it plays so much differently in matches compared to online and it's tricky getting online practices because there's only certain teams you can play against. So I know it's funny to begin with, but when you get to a record breaking in a bad way performance, you have to start turning things around. So it would just be fun to watch if they can bring it into a different map. It was Hotel where we saw them playing with all the confidence in the world, making moves all over the place. Mac was balling out. Siv also posted up some very nice stat lines in the map too. And now it's a different one on El Silo, and they're playing against a team who, admittedly, the record isn't great at three and eight overall, but still well experienced. I know quite a few of those losses are to teams like Atlanta Phase, where Atlanta Phase one of their best maps in the game. So uh, I think LAT overall, the round count usually pretty good. It's just a map they struggle to get wins on overall. So uh, definitely an interesting square up. And I definitely think this is now where we truly get to learn about how many improvement surges actually made. Improvement is going to be the name of the game. That's going to be what we're really looking for here. A win is one thing, but looking to see them go toe to toe with a tough squad like the LA Thieves and Search and Destroy, that is also a wonderful indicator for success. Here we go in El Asilo, map number two here in this series an absolute slug fest we are guaranteeing you ladies and gents a lot of three o's yesterday an exciting three o to start the day off today but you bet your bottom dollar or whatever the hell the metaphor you're looking for wherever you come from that this is going to be a treat and again that record is just absurd i mean the first blood pretty like you know halfway decent right in the middle of the pack for lat but i know both la thieves and surges conversions when they actually get the first bloods pretty poor uh, which obviously is the records would indicate that that you're not having a, a great deal of success even when you're finding the picks and we'll see if sip can find one of the outer land is this is a pretty aggressive b hit off the rib no dead silence no trophies just yet so impossible to absolutely fly octane is a top of the mountain eyes across that b bomb site 
Max getting in there. Larry tags up. Oh boy, backs him right up. This might give you a bit of clearance to go towards A. Watch that flank though. Here comes Kenny. He's going to make a play towards the outside. Sneaky man making his moves. Sib. Right place, right time. Will the gunny prevail? Gets one. Wait a minute. Oh no! There's a ton of surge players in this back alley. Kenny bites off more than he can chew. 4v2. Yeah, just a bit of a mistake there out of Drazik as Kenny absolutely heard that player jump. So Sib could have been dead to rights, but and Kenny gets forced to child a little bit too quickly and the help for Surge was there. And funnily enough, it was the B hit off the rip. They just get the bomb down at A so quickly after the fact and Octane by himself, nowhere to go in a perfect first round coming out of Seattle. Sib with that opening two piece and obviously the help from his teammate in field sealed the deal. Happy with that one. This was the kill from Sib. Gets Adraza, spots Kenny, and this is perfect, perfect teamwork. Kenny comes around that corner, gets a tag or two in. And it's a little bit of help from the bomb carrier Mac there, but Sib, great moves there. Doesn't take the challenge, backs up, trusts his teammates. That's good minimap awareness. We may not have red dots, but don't forget the blue ones, team. They're your pals. Most of the time, they're here to help. And that's got to be great communication as well, just because we know Mac had the bomb and was like the most aggressive guy up on the wall. So he wrapped backs to help out his teammates. So someone was either begging for help in Sib or just the big brain plays were there. And now you don't need a 200 IQ to know if Pred's in a spot like this. He can make that impact play, but he's very loud when he drops down. Doesn't matter though, still gets the first blow. How did, how did he get that kill? Kenny somehow managing to deal a decent amount of damage. Not for kill. Mac though goes down. Draza finds his 3v2. Lives towards the LA Thieves. Oh, that's unfortunate for accuracy. Dead silence runs out and he gets spotted and Octane just gets sent in for the kill. Down to 50 HP, but more importantly, no time on the clock. Fred trying to make a play on the other side, but he's going to be spotted or at least heard after the fact. Only has 15 seconds to work with to defuse a bomb and the Vaznev in hand. Simply nothing can be done, so he wants just an extra kill if he can get it. He will get it in a few seconds if he checks this right. Yep, there it is. That's going to be three spree on the round. That's the one consolation you get to take away from here, Seattle Surge fans. Apart from that, though, LA Thieves, they find the equalizer. And nice little bounce back just inside the site. I know Pred got the kill on Kenny, sort of on that, like, outer A zone lane. But all the other LA Thieves won their individual gunfights in and around the bomb. And, I mean, two for two right now for both of these teams on the actual bomb plants. And the offensive conversions shortly follow. Talking about them conversions, man. And so far, it's all working. The stats have not lied thus far here in the Search and Destroy. Round three. Here we go. LA Thieves on the defense. They're stacking up the A site. As thick as Thieves, if you'll excuse the pun. I will see how will break this. All of them upstairs for now. Yeah, There's going to be so much noise up top, right? You see Octane in the face cam <laughs> coming a decent bit as well. All of these audio cues, players pulling out stuns and nades, and maybe trying to send Kenny in for the kill. LAT is maybe with flank opportunity, but if they heard three players up top and this bomb starts to rotate over towards B, right now it's only Draza responsible to catch out this rotation, but I don't think the timing went his way. And this is looking like Mac is going to be able to get this bomb down for free. We get to see how Seattle hold this bomb. Yeah, Thieves, two guns up over towards that B side of the map. Actually, yeah, he's going to walk back into the sneaky Draza, the assassin oh, wow. okay. from the back line, no problem, sibbed just like that flying solo his wingmen are out and he's not going to be able to get a constellation kill on the way through there you go <laughs> the la thieves what a round yeah and kenny always in uh, enthusiastic in the player cam as well i think pretty happy about how that round developed great kills i, I mean as soon as the bomb get down i think it might have been envoy that was the first one in to catch mac as soon as the bomb goes down and even for the reads, Draz has just taken the full wrap, so they might have been a little bit slow on the rotation to actually stop the bomb plant from taking place, but they were incredibly fast at just swarming over that garage area uh, after the fact, and uh, that is as efficient of a retake as you are ever going to see. LA Thieves, their bread and butter. It was cool, patient play from Draz as well. He spots, or well, he hears the audio cue for at least one player there by the bomb site. Doesn't smash a door open, takes the long way around, catches out accuracy, setting up for the post plant position. <laughs> Nets that kill, nets his teammate some space and a bit of time to play with great stuff there. Ellie Thieves take the lead here in the search and destroy. Back at it we go. Yeah, no shocker on the aggression into the A site, doubled up down low, Pred and Mac, and very standard setup right now across the board for Seattle on defense. And I think LAT maybe a little bit happy to take their time, maybe accrue some of that dead silence before you start making plays. But for the moment, you only know that accuracy is in his home. 
after that, they're still waiting to use some stuns and nades to sniff these players out. Stuns and nades, that's what Max is going to be dealing with in a moment. Trophy on its way here, his field upgrade. Another one round like this, they're going to have to pump the brakes, let those deadies build up. Now though, you're chilling. Ken on the other side of the A-bomb site door. Here we go, stacking up. Getting ready for the hit. They're blowing the fan clean off the wall. Here comes the chow. Pred's got that corner covered. Mac wins his. Doors bang wide open. Mac looking to get a little bit more than that first. As Envoy, he's going to get the tags through the wall. Draz gets involved now, but Mac wants to get with the gunny. 30 seconds on this one. And you're holding it down. And Seattle search have found all the kills. LaRue's alone. He's gone. What a round, Seattle. Yeah, and that's impressive work out of the trophy system as well off the rip <laughs> for Max. So uh, an SMG in that site, you know, it's the stuns and nades you have to deal with, but they were never, ever, you know, reduced HP. Uh, and funnily enough, the wall bangs never properly came through. I know Mac was getting tagged up a bit, but, you know, we see players like Abizi or Selium just insta-kill players through that wall. LA Thieves not quite able to find it. And obviously you see how difficult it can be to break in that site. And I'd say even on the uh, the stuns and nades front, just a little more value out of Seattle. All those players ended up getting funneled inside of that pool area and both Mac finding the kills and even accuracy from the outer lane moving in. Just an efficient round on defense. Efficiency is so hard to do here in MW2. Only the greatest can really pull it off. One plant towards A, real quick. An exchange of lethals and tacticals here from Kenny and Pred. They're going to empty their pockets on one another. And now it's just Knives and Lin. Here we go. Kenny from upstairs. The retake is on. We're moving fast for the thieves, but you're moving loud at the same time. Not draws though. Dead silence through the back line. Will he be able to catch someone out? Siv. He's shaking it in the corner there by the pole dance. And he's got to find something else. Top stairs now. All... Oh, wait a minute. All early thieves. Sim's got the boomstick downstairs. Kenny might be able to get the pinch here. Oh, Kenny finds one. The bar kill from Max should seal it. And 2v2. The clock is ticking. There's no way, son. Absolute fiesta downstairs. And Seattle come out on top. Yeah, good lord. That's a difficult hold as well for Seattle. I know they get the bomb down for free. And you're feeling great after the fact. But... I mean, you're getting swarm bottom pull hit from every single angle. You have to trust your teammates to deliver on all the gunfights and Brett and Mac down low, trusting each other to win their respective. You get left, I get right. And they just simply deliver. So again, Seattle, we know they've been putting in a, a serious amount of work, especially in this game mode. And a round like that, I definitely think it shows. And more importantly, just to recognize of how quickly you're actually able to get that bomb down. I mean, they cleared out the site. Had the bomb planted within the first 15 seconds of the round. No time wasted for search. Is that efficiency? Ooh. Draws gets away with his life. Bomb planted at A, though. Steve's downstairs now trying to stack into a position, get themselves angles covered. Pred upstairs, though. Moving quietly. Oh, Draws does not hear him coming. That's going to be three in a row there for Pred. Six and one overall. Still has Denny to go. Less than 30 on the clock. Mac wins his spread. Oh, no. Falling to pieces now for the Thieves, Chance. Uh, this is it. I mean, Kenny for the 1v4. They even closed the door in his face. And now you just got to get the trade. No big play there for Kenny. And again, ecstatic in the player camp because his team just got broken <laughs> down. Pred gets in prime position and then just waits, just waits for the kills to fall on his lap. Draws it too loud to hit the stairwell. Easy read right there for Pred. And then obviously you have Mac jumping on the site after the fact. I mean, everybody from Surge in those final moments got in the mix. So Pred sets him up, everybody else there to knock it down. And right now the woes on El Asilo for LA Thieves. It seems like they're just continuing. Yeah, there was a moment there, the final seconds of Kenny's face cam where he gets the kill on the player on the site, and then it's just, what is happening? What is going on, boys? Seattle Surge, a two-round advantage. And I can't believe it, mate. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, they were world's worst at Search and Destroy. And what do you know? Back-to-back -back wins? It's not over yet. Oh, Pred so aggressive as well. Yeah, but look at the, the teamwork right there. Draws in. Even Kenny was down low. So everybody in the mix to shut down that push. And now in a 3v4, and you're kind of trapped on the field side of the map. I know at least the bomb carrier gets out, but accuracy has been left on an island. But he finds a pick, but his teammates down low don't quite get the trades. Envoy, maybe that thorn in their side, leaving the players in a 2v3. But the thorn has been pulled. 
And right now, Sip and Accuracy, the AR is trying to make moves, but can't quite make it happen. Now Sip for the 1v2 and starts off with a 360. Yo, he hit that one. Very, very good. That's a 10 from the judges. He's going to try to hit the bomb down. Timing. What? Da, 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 da. 1v1 tries to comes out on top, and Sib is very, very upset with that one. And meanwhile, just a smile on Jaws' face. Those curly <laughs> whites. Chip Skylark is grinded this game. I know if it wasn't for the fact that he had to waste time, you know, scrimming and playing in a CDL, he would be number one on the top 250 leaderboards. But Jaws has put in some serious work. Nice play around the door in that moment. And I think Sib probably most upset about not getting the highlight reel play because that would have been a very solid, effectively, like 2v4 clutch that Sib and Accuracy would have had. And Sib would have collected three of those kills. But either way, necessary bounce back round right there for LA Thieves just to stop the bleeding. But still down and rounds. Going to get back on offense. And we'll see what happens now. One more for the LA Thieves to tie it up. Four to four. We're creeping. We're crawling. And we are slithering through the bottom side of LSC low. Standard set up there from Seattle Surge. Thieves, though, on offense. We look at this field play. You've got two players way out on the top side of the map. They're going to get spotted soon. Can they get closer towards that B-bomb site before their fate bell rings? It's also like, it's all these AR gunfights on the field side of the map to try to get Draza in position, but it's also just Pred versus Envoy. And you, you to get too aggressive, you just get caught. So Seattle's ARs are delivering on one side of the map. Meanwhile, Pred has put himself in prime position and Envoy, if he doesn't find him, well, good news is he does to even up the odds or maybe even get the advantage now that Kenny finds the pick. I was going to say, Envoy's daddy nearly ran out, but now he gets to fly for free around the map. Max got his daddy, though, and there it is. Ding dong. Less than 30. Mac moving. Checks the bomb site. No one home. Has to keep the roll going now. Sib. Oh, that's a lovely spot on a Kenny. Tags are in. Here comes the silent reinforcement in the form of Mac. Will he catch out Octane on the timing, though? Awkward play inbound. Sib's quick reposition, though. This could be great. You spotted one. This is going to be a tough retake, but not impossible. Has to win a fight. Can't win a thing. Mac. 1v3. That was a big stick on that plant right there by Envoy as well. But Mac in the 1v3 knows where a bunch of these players are, but he only has attack. And breaking this site's not easy. You get shots like that, maybe it can help. But the Vaznev shuts him down towards the end. And I know Envoy started out 1 in 5, but that round really started to crank things up and make the big plays. And it's actually Kenny who gets that final kill on the trades. But I think as soon as Envoy at least catches Pred out behind the desk. Uh, you're feeling much more confident about your ability in that round. Uh, I think LA Thieves may be making a couple adjustments. Pred always playing in and around that money window. And if I had to take a guess, Envoy probably just heard him jump over that desk and just waited for the timing on when it pounce. Yeah, you can make a, an educated guess when you hear the uh, the mantle thump thump. He's prone behind the desk. Great reads, good work out of Dylan Hannon there. Octane with the old boomstick. Downstairs, we've seen a lot of SPX today. It's been this snipe du jour any more to be found here on Telecelo that might have landed the stick oh you're in trouble son there we go Envoy managed to get the first blood there an awkward Semtex slows the feet of Mac gets the kill 4 to 4 still tied up crazy moment oh my word nearly can Octane find Pred here once again prone in money he loves it this is just Pred's little area here we gotta go. be very difficult about how like tall your helmet actually is or maybe just on the good timing Nail butter in that moment, but in the oh. meantime, the only one that can make a play is going to be Accuracy. Dead silence and on the flank. So Accuracy has to open things up for the team. That's the start, maybe to try to soften up a blow for Pred to start making moves, but only 35 seconds to work with. Oh. You're going to have to fly. Oh, he saw. He saw Octane. He saw the cake. He definitely saw it happen. Bomb down. Will he be able to check the corner here? Accuracy. Tags in. Nearly gets the kill. Ball down to Pred. One. Might be able to hit the site. No player behind him. Great work out of the LA Thieves. The resolve was there. They take the lead. The first time since, what, round one? Yeah, just about. And great moves uh, right there from Octane as well. Accuracy gets the kill. Going on to rotation. Jumps up in that top window. And Octane just backs down to stay alive. But... It has been a long time coming for LA Thieves to get back in this lead. You are correct. And uh, I know, again, Envoy started off one in five. He's now picking up first bloods and feeling just a, a little bit more comfortable in this game. The adjustments for Thieves have been on point and only one final adjustment to make to get this last round win. I know Pred is probably the guy that you're thinking about playing around. Trophy's out in and around the site, but Mac is by himself. 
And Trophy's down. They've seen this trap before. Oh, Pred's waiting for it. He's not playing games this round. One more bit of noise to cue it. How diddly doodly gets in there. Envoy, the man to drop. It's still map point for the LA Thieves. Draws and now pop steady. Sibs brings in the snipes to the inside. And he is tweaking right now. Son, look at him go. Doesn't manage to catch that player. Just made the way on the outside. That's going to be it. Draws at another big win. 3v3. Oh, now you're getting pounced on his side as well. Pred trying to help his boy, but he gets caught out. And the breakdown is in. Oh. And LA Thieves in a 3v4 close the door and get it done to tie this series up one to one. And it was a fun one while it lasted. But there we go. One to one. The LA Thieves. Pull it back there on Ellis Silo. The search and destroy woes somewhat continue there for Seattle Surge. They did manage to break the curse, but for now, a difficult look for them there. A bit of a fall apart in the final round, but until then, good stuff. Ellie Thieves, though, congratulations on that bounce back. You're going to need it because, again, this series, oh, I've got a feeling we're going the distance. Good stuff out of Kenny there once again. He certainly has come to play today. Good looks in the respawn there. 10 and 6 in the S&D as well. Pred on the other side, he was the hitman for Seattle Surge. 9 and 5, just over 1k worth of damage there, Chance. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised as well, like even that strap for LA Thieves towards the end of just like no one helping Envoy out and watching that door form and Envoy being like tunnel vision on the guy towards mid just to give up the, the free first blood because moments like that, it seems way too easy for Pred, but obviously if they can't convert the round, doesn't make a single bit of difference. And obviously the pop-off plays towards the end of guys like Draza going on those routes. So uh, good stuff from both teams overall. Uh, I know we said we'd learn a little bit in Surge, maybe just a little bit more is what they need. Well, we just got a little bit, but what we need now from you, chat, is just a little bit of your time. We're going to throw to a quick commercial break on the other side of this bad boy. We're staying on LLC, and we're playing control. Don't go too far. This is the CDL. We'll be right back.
The Call of Duty League is presented by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Well, the LATs bounce back in the series here by winning the crazy LSCLO S&D. But we stay on LSCLO for now. Control map number three. It's almost taking the lead after this one. Chance, which way are you leaning? Oh, damn. I wish you didn't ask me that question. I actually have no idea. Again, like for both of these teams, it's their most commonly vetoed map by a mile when it comes to control. Uh, Surge is the team that ended up picking it. And I suppose maybe based off that, the expectation for me is that Surge has been putting in quite a bit of work, not just in Surge and Troy, but on maps like Hydro, Hardpoint, that they're not choosing to play. So if they're choosing a map they've commonly banned, uh, I think they might have uh, cooked something up. But at the same time, Kenny has also been the fry man for the side of LA. T, not easy to shut down and there's also a tilt factor that might come into effect when you're nearly like punching your desk after losing rounds where you probably shouldn't have won to begin with uh, not always easy to bounce back from it's not easy whatsoever the mental aspect of uh, of the game something we've talked about plenty good luck to you when things start to get frustrating, it's very, very hard not to sort of let that spiral out of control and let it affect your gameplay. Someone who has not been affected in the gameplay department, though, is Pred. Look at these stats. Shish. I, I think the biggest one there in my mind, it's got to be the attacking KD as well. If you have an SMG that is performing that well on offense, and I will say, keep in mind, it's like their least played map by a mile. So I'm assuming there's just one performance from Pred that is definitely going to be inflating those stats because they have a one in one record. But hey, if you can put up some big performances like that, especially on the attacking rounds, uh, you're going to be having a great time. So uh, while I think Kenny on one side is the player to watch because of the series but he's been having, uh, Pred obviously always going to be a lethal threat. And in the first hard point, he popped off as well. He did. So Pred respawn dominance. Keep an eye on that coming up in a moment. Had a PC crash, guys. We'll get back into this ASAP. Until then, Seattle Surge gives them a moment more to ponder how they're going to roll forward in this LSC low control. Long series ahead of us, no doubt about it. The respawns are going to be nail biters between these two teams, even online. And the search and destroy, as you just saw, a fun one indeed. Seattle search woes continue to a degree, as as is tradition. Top left hand side of the screen there was Sib shooting bots in the firing range. LA Thieves upstairs, they're going to be enjoying a little bit of uh, downtime time as well as we get back into this asap and it's all smiles for the thieves i i feel like in these player cams it's just becoming like very easy predictions on what's going to happen la thieves winning or losing are going to be joking around having a good time smiles on our faces uh, again this is a team that like they might tilt within a map but the regain is always going to be on point and draws it being the motor mouth that he is uh, a central figure in keeping the vibes flowing and then on the flip side for Seattle, you know for a fact that we can watch through Sib's glasses, him just in the firing range shooting things nonstop. Like even during a match, he does not appreciate downtime. He just wants to shoot his gun. Yeah, I mean, then he does it do very good. Sib shoot the gun well. Does everything else pretty well, to be honest. I mean, Sib's an absolutely brilliant player. He has been a, a force to be reckoned with here in the CDL since he got into it. Accuracy under the tutelage of that man keeping things all good together it's that mental game though i mean uh, thinking about like you know when things go wrong when things get really bad it's moments like that for the la thieves we're all smiling all laughing just somebody says something dumb someone makes a joke somebody lets one rip whatever it may be anything to sort of get the you know get the mind off of the loss focus forward and keep things rolling that's the name of the game right here and that game we're playing is controlling a sealer I mean, you know, not that I'm an expert on this sort of thing, but it, like in any state of competition, if you hesitate even for a second, that's enough for whoever's playing against you to just like put you in the dirt and, and that's enough. And I know, especially for Call of Duty, if there's ever like a seed of doubt in your mind, any game mode, any moment, you're just gonna get torched. Like you need the confidence. That's why like ego chows aren't always a bad thing. They're incredibly effective in Call of Duty, yeah. uh, not just for like Peeker's advantage, but just because you're challenged. Like you are trusting yourself to win the gunfights. And uh, I just think again, confidence is king. That probably is the biggest struggle point for Seattle Surge and Search and Destroy. Once you lose enough maps in a row, it just gets in your head. And that is so tough to deal with. I think like not clutching a 1v3, like for Sid, for example, 
is a round that most people just do not care. They're like, damn, that was a good try. I 360 that guy over by barrels. I'm snapping right now. We'll get him the next <laughs> round. But if you don't have all the confidence in the world and maybe frustrations are a little bit high within the team, then you go more of like to the, uh, the punching desk style. Uh, of course, that being said for Surge, I mean, this is a, a team that's stuck together through thick and thin all of the end of vanguard and obviously they finished on a pretty high note so these guys sticking together through this year obviously they are very capable of the bounce back as well and making those improvements so uh, make no mistake i know we're highlighting sip quite a bit or at least i am but uh, this is a team i do not think is going to lack any confidence either no and they, and they really shouldn't i mean you've managed to pull yourself out of one of the potentially one of the worst deficits you've seen as a squad since what like seattle surge 2020 i mean that's that's the closest you get into it with that search and destroy run so kudos again to seattle surge it's the mental oh. game it's the fortitude chance true fortitude. yeah and by the way that was their hundredth uh s and d loss as uh in the cdl as like an org i think oh, that what? was the so first team to 100. wow well done seattle surge balloons for you You've lost 100 Search and Destroy matches. That is, uh, they're the first to do it. Well, unbelievable. Well, congrats to them, I suppose. <laughs> we have had a server crash, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the player PCs are all good to go, but a server issue has prevented us from getting into this game. And we'll be uh, rolling back into that one in a moment. Kenny looks tired, doesn't he? He looks tired. He sees over this, man. He just wants to get back in there and, you know, put some good numbers up for the L. <laughs> Okay, well, man, we, we got that out of the way. Let's <laughs> let's get back to <laughs> let's get back to business. If you like the CDL, and I know you do, because you're in the stream, and you like playing cards, because I know you do, because well, I know you do. Upper deck, of course, they're trading cards. The 2021 Call of Duty League ones are now available. If you've been to any of the majors this year, you'll know what they look like. You've seen them in the flesh. All sorts of goodies there. Scan that QR code on screen. They are beautiful. They are very fun. Great fun to collect. A lot of those signatures as well. I've seen a couple go up on uh, on on bedding website websites bidding websites and uh the numbers are crazy for some of our more storied players there but whoa ladies and gentlemen third time's the charm strap in it's time to go let's see the control yeah and just to backtrack to the playing cards real quick i know the craziest thing about that that was scraps not waskins on the playing card saw him in person blew my mind because i was like i didn't really like i knew you guys were twins i didn't realize how twin like you actually were because i've known him for years and just assumed it was Boston's at the event. So if you've seen the person, you yeah. understand exactly what I'm talking about. I shouted at him. I shouted, woo! And he was like, no, nah, man, it's me, mate. I was like, no <laughs> shot. Yeah. Crazy. End of the game we go, though. Here we have it. Control is up. Thanks for sticking with us, pal. Sorry about the delay. But in we go. Max trying to clear out the inside of the map. Over towards the A side we go here on defense for the LA Thieves. Can Mac find anyone here? He's checking literally everything. And this is, this is good checking. All right, we finally go. Oh, unlucky there from accuracy. That final bullet would have been sweet there. Anyone here to pick up the pieces? Not just yet. LA Thieves looking strong in the first few minutes, seconds. What? Uh, yeah, this is 35 seconds and only two kills have come through. Now we get all the way up to five. So I think these guys just came off the back of playing s &D on this map. That was an absurdly slow pace, but all of that for Surge to snap into position, get these players to spawn out and try to stack up on this B point. You got Pred responsible for the flank. Kenny just shuts him down. These players right now can hear everything. If you are standing next to a player on this map and they kick open a door, you're going Going death. That's death. I hope so. Anyway, for some of you, there's the first segment. From Seattle Search, good work. 40 seconds remaining on the round. Will they be able to get another? Pressure's there. It's Octane from upstairs. Ah, and Envoy with the final cleanup kill. Pred, last man on this side of the map for his boys. He can still be that pain. But he's got to stay alive for a few moments more. Just over 30 to go. And he's got dead silence, but the only play he can make is calling out the players that are above him. Number four has him trapped. Envoy got that information, and Sib's getting kills in the meantime. They know Pred's down low, and you see a guy like Kenny jumping from the top rope just to shut him down, and you got Draza in prime position. I mean, the number of players on this LA Thieves team that can effectively be the main AR. I mean, pick your poison. Kenny. Tags good. Not enough to get that kill though. The second segment of B's on its way out. There's a two-man stack. You gotta get going. Accuracy, last man left on it. If you can win one fight, that's great. No, good work there from the LA Thieves. They stop it. And we are still moving forward in the time department. 15 seconds to go here. Max up close and personal though. He could be the man to get it done. Coverage there. As Draza manages to get a few more. Kenny's playing this one real close. That is a great bit of movement and he's in. That should be the round. Oh no, wait a minute. Number six, accuracy on the point. Octane's going to win this one fight, and he can get it done. There we go. Sib might be able to get there in time, but no way. He gets the gun up. There it is. LA Thieves hold firm here on the first round. 
And, and honestly, that is just the pain of starting off around that slow. Uh, I mean, Seattle surge again. There was like two gunfights that took place in the first 30 seconds of the round. And by the end, when the clock is ticking and you're forced just to sprint face first into whatever point you spawn closest to, uh, free kills there for the side of LA Thieves. You are just getting funneled into a bad spot. And uh, I think we're uh, uncharacteristically on a start that slow. Not something I expect to see again. Yeah. But once you see that the game plan is there and the sort of the machinations of that perfect B hit were there, but it just took a little too much time for Seattle Surge. We'll see if they can find a success in the next defensive round. For now, they're on defense. They got stacking up bodies towards A. That's a quick first blood as well from Accuracy, who as soon as he gets to the tower with the trophy out as well, incredibly annoying to deal with. And I think off spawn, LA Thieves might pick a, a different direction to go. You see Octane even wrapping back. They're trying to find the cheeky angle just to oh. take him down. And I was going to say, good luck with that one. I would just be going to B. Yeah, that's a, a nice angle, though. You can get that kill, it's one thing. But uh, you got to deal with all these players in these corners. And like, oh, oh. Oh, they're everywhere. Mac, though, he's uh, the last man to get a kill. Traded out immediately there. Fred's ball doesn't dodge it. Battle Harden's going to keep him in the fight pretty quick, though. Here comes Draws. Doesn't check the floor. This Prez stays alive here in the top bar. He's still finding these kills, and all, all comers are hitting their way towards him. Finally brought down. Accuracy, the next line of defense here. Envoy with a suppressing fire. Thieves have managed to get a little bit closer to the point. It's stacked up on a chance. No hope for Seattle here. Surely keep him off. Oh, this is brutal. Uh, I mean, LA Thieves, that's their fourth kill. They've gotten in a minute and 10 seconds. So both teams on offense feeling the pain of being able to convert either of these rounds. I mean, almost completely unable to touch either zone. And I mean, maybe a last ditch effort, but LA Thieves not even positioned to make an attempt on this round. Envoy last one just to die. <laughs> That is two just absurdly clean rounds, at least on the defensive end. Neither team able to orchestrate anything resembling an attack. No, oh, that was that was two bad ones back to back. We'll see if, uh, if, if Seattle can find something on their next attacking round. I'm sorry, yeah, defense has been very, very strong here for both teams on LSC low. See if that's going to change up next. Seattle, you've had a moment to think about it. You've seen what the thieves have got in their bag. How will you attack this time and this is a map that's weighted a little bit weird it's about 60 40 for defense across the league but there's only three teams that are actually above 50 percent on offense uh and i think seattle was at 40 percent again they were only one in one but i think la thieves are now like one in seven on their offensive round so technically the league average is close to 50 50 but a lot of teams just have not figured it out just yet it looks like Surge on their attack, at least able to create opportunities and get Pred behind enemy lines and just get oh, shut no. down. And we are right back to a stranglehold for the team on defense. Oh, no. Well, Sip's going to find one on the way out. Octane, but he snaps the both of them to the Shadow Realm with you. Be gone. Because those two are out of there, son. Just under a minute to go. And this is just, I mean, good luck. You got Kenny effectively behind enemy lines. He can just jump on you whenever you try to be a little bit too aggressive or maybe bad timing going his way. He gets shot in the back as the players cross through field. And just like that, a brief moment of opportunity in three players stacked up on that zone. Well, they're stacked up. Numbers are there. Trophies as well. You are set for this one. Second segment gone. Third, surely on its way out. I mean, if you're the thieves, chalk it. Look towards A. That's where you need to get the defense set up. B, long gone. An additional minute on the clock. And you'll take a moment like that. Talk about a, a massive opportunity. Close on lives as well. Get all of the extra time. And uh, again, Seattle, they've only played this map twice, but technically one of the more successful teams on offense. And this is a great round so far. Good awareness by accuracy to check every single corner. And now if you can ever get this player off of radio, you're going to have a great time. Or maybe accuracy just to keep these players at bay. It's only Kenny up by radio. At least they know where he is. And unfortunately for Seattle, he's able to get two. But this is also two ticks. And now you have to flood into the zone. No way. Kenny gets two out of it. Brad somehow finding the damage. You know, so many of those players. No kills, though. Can Sib just come here? Just cough on these guys. They're all so weak. So many oneies. A full segment remains. LA Thieves posted up on the defense. Kenny once again with the big digits. 14 and 9 on a three spree. How many kills as Draws has got right now? 
And you're also, I think, Seattle playing the waiting game. They're waiting for the kills to come through because accuracy is spending up the spawn trap. Every single one of these players is going to spawn exactly where number one on the minimap just died. And they have to cross the line that is accuracy before they can make any moves. So they're just worried about the funnel system. Any death right here for LA Thieves could be an absolute dagger. The good news, though, for Thieves, they find all the kills. They take care of accuracy and they keep their defensive life alive. But obviously, with one final tick coming through, it only takes a moment for Surge. Yeah, one of this weird back-of-the-map setup that the LA Thieves just made work so well. Sib, unable to get any purchase from that side of the map. Now he's getting things going. Oh, nearly the second Envoy, two HP. You lucky devil. Walks away with it now. 25 seconds remaining on the round. The LA Thieves once again backed up towards the rock side. The defilade cover. No one's penetrating those rocks. Less than 20 to go now. Hey, this is kind of a dangerous setup for LA as well. It's all the ARs completely posted up, but if you can get in corners and force the gunfights up close, like if you get Pred and Mac in position, which Pred now is, this is not fun for Kenny to have to deal with. And there's Pred for the first strike. The trades that were in, Envoy's so quick to help out, but it's still a trade fest. It's still Seattle with the pressure on, and Mac doing his best to stay alive. Oh, here comes LaRue over the top rope, dives into it, drains it. Three seconds to go. This should be the round. And once again, closer. But not quite enough on the attack. Seattle Surge, though, they take the lead in the segments department. They will be getting defense on round five as it stands. And that might well have gotten the map. We will see, though, another attacking round for the LA Thieves. Yeah, and I'd be very curious to check on Draza's damage after this game as well, because I see four and 12, but I feel like he's been the guy that's almost been living at the radio tower. So his output might be decent. His impact maybe fell elsewhere, not just in the kills, but a back pocket idea. I'd say for the end of that round, Envoy's the guy that if he's not in the position behind enemy lines, I think Surge actually are going to be able to convert that round. But big plays in a big moment, and now LA Thieves turn to attack and at some point, they're going to have to get an attacking round, either this one or the next, because right now, Surge has been better on offense. This is a great start. Octane's in there. You've got your double doors covered. You've got Octane on the outside. This is good looks at the Thieves so far. First segment gone. Can they stack up and get the second? That's going to be a three-man stack for now. It's going to go real fast. Sib's going to be able to try to get into this ASAP. He is under the coverage of his teammates, but... Oh, nice pick. A's gone, though. This is the attacking round of the LA Thieves. They're going to get cleaned up, though. Bunch of trades coming through. And, yeah, Kenny, last man standing, and he's in his spawn. So you chalk up the point, but you get the kills and at least buy yourselves a, a bunch of map control as well. And now you got Mac, the one that is in control. He's the player down by pool, lighting things up and putting the pressure on. He knows exactly where these players are going to be spawning and trying to keep it at bay and very annoying to deal with. And that is just the start of the push. Right now, Thieves just desperate to get out of their spawn. Well, Thieves, slowly but surely, they're getting it done. Kenny schools his son, Draza, and Pred within a single magazine. 140 on the clock. Sib, oh, you might have seen a shoulder there. Beautiful work. Takes care of Octane. Trophy's putting in overtime as well. A minute 30 to go. Oh, wow. Great reads and great shot right there from Sib. Just that little bit of extra. I think Envoy, the player that's trying to be annoying for Surge and trying to slow players like Accuracy down, and he will do exactly that, finding an extra kill. Envoy just trying to buy his team a little bit of map pressure so they can start to creep up and make some moves. Maybe a bit of a flank coming through. We're trying to catch these players field side, or maybe it's the cruise. It's the cruise. It's Kenny's cruise. And it lands. Just trophy. above Sib's head. Good old trophy helps out there. Envoy trying to make something happen. Trying to extend the spree. Less than a minute to go. Now Octane's got the kills in the back line covered. The pinch is in now. The setup is there. Is this the moment for the LA Thieves to get on the point? Well, we talked about the spawn trap, by the way. Now it's Octane that's got it. So he got in the accuracy position, and he's trying to keep these Surge players at bay. So every death for Surge can be a dagger. You are going to be so far away from the point. You got Envoy on a five. And these next players standing, they have to make the big plays. Sid has to find some of these kills. Yeah, this could be it. Sib's trying to find something. This It's not a fast cap. It's only two players. Well, one and a half. You can count those players in and out. Pred now trying to get into it. Oh, does. Wow. Oh, he wins a big and draws still on the point. Though. Not over yet. LA Thieves keeping the play going. Matt gets brought down up to Pred now still keeping things close on the outside is accuracy trophies are in position Pred finds another he's gone absolutely huge you've saved the point for now and I hate when I do it I took my eye off the mini map but those players were all over Octane behind that like back cliff or back mountain so I don't know if they got the close spawn or just were very efficient of jumping on it and taking care of that errant player but the pressure's still on it's only one tick to go and Kenny is beaming he is Timothy 
10 lives left to attack this one with the LAPs. They've got just about 20 seconds to go as well. Mac wins a big one on the small door. Envoy now looking for the revenge. Oh, he nearly does drop him. Madness is the final 10 seconds. Can the LAPs get any closer? I don't think so. And it's going to come down to kills. Come down to the decider here. A single sec. It's not over yet. That should be it. Throw in the towel. We're going to the final round. And I do believe, based on the kills alone, Seattle Surge should have accrued defense. I think they're good on the, the tick battle as well. I think LA Thieves got, like, completely shut down their first round on offense, and Surge at least got, like, two ticks over towards A. So uh, whether it be kills or just the objectives, Surge should get the defense. Admittedly, though, the past two rounds, the teams on offense have created some serious threats. Just not quite able to deliver, but... Either way, four for four right now on defense. You have to imagine uh, a sizable advantage for the team that pulls it. And that should be Seattle. Again, tied up 1-1 in the series. You definitely want to have that edge going into map four. You do indeed. Well, there we go. Seattle do get defense. Round five. Here we have it. One last crack at El Asilo. And admittedly, both teams have become, you know, very adept at these attacking rounds. Last time around, we saw LA Thieves clean up a so far, so clean. And this time round, it's not as clean, but they're keeping the pace up. Octane on the back line now. He's in trouble. If he reads this, no shot, no hope in hell whatsoever. 27 lives apiece as so we go back to square one. Well, look what's happening, though, because Envoy actually gets through, like, the middle of the map to try to force these spawns. Unfortunate for Octane, actually, that he just gets flanked. Oh, and on. I was going to say that could have been a good opportunity of B. Instead, they got a little bit too aggressive, did not read the flank coming through, and instead just get molly whopping around the point. Eat Draza, though, trying to find the air and kills. But LA Thieves, a bit of a, a scattered game right now. Just getting picked apart along the way. Only down on two lives, but also running out of time. Lovely creative defense there from Seattle Surge. Wonderful reads of all the situations they found themselves in. 40 seconds to go. You've still got a bit of a capture taking place on A here, though. Mac, he's going to be the man to creep on in. I don't think he got spotted. I gave it away now. Can I get a kill out of it? No, we should see A gone. The second segment, toast. Third's on his way out. Yeah, that could have actually been a, another big moment for Mac on the flank. I don't think he did get spotted by that player on radio either. And, well, now you got threats on the other side. If you want any man on the front line taking these gunfights, Kenny's going to be that guy. He is the one that's been frying all series long. But Brett is quick on the trades. But two more players from LA Thieves in the back. And again, Octane back towards his home. He is the man trying to cut off these players for Seattle. Not fun to have to get out of. It takes so much time to deal with ARs in these positions. And both him and Draza just oh. keeping them locked in their spawn. Good luck with this one. That's huge, man. Such wonderful work there with the AR. 25 and 20 out of Octane. Keeping his boys in this one. The capture is on. Can they keep the trap going? It's a three-man stack right now for the Elite Thieves. It is over. Unless Seattle Surge can get in there and get in there fast. Mac now through the side. All tanks are good. He gets the kill. Two more players right on top of the point. Draws Perfect. through the wall. It's good work out of the Elite Thieves. And they find the special source. Better late than never. They secure the final round. They take the lead here in the series. Yeah, and I really need to watch the previous round when LA Thieves were on the attack because I think it was the exact same situation where Octane gets the back truck and uh, I don't know if Surge were just able to quickly wrap back or if they just got gifted some spawns to spawn right on top of them. But either way, perfectly executed towards the end. The exact same game plan for LA coming through and hey, they delivered. Got the one offensive round that they needed and I was hoping the damage for Draza would be better. Uh, not the case. He did get fried at least the first couple rounds. The mere fact that he exists in that top sort of red That's pylon nice, yeah. position is a very important thing. You know, it's sometimes like having a snipe on a guy mid. Like, yeah, you're not hitting the shots, but you're, you're denying that entire area to those players. Sometimes it's maybe good. Sometimes are maybe not good. Here we go, though. Highlights, ladies and gents, from this LSC low, as we will pack our bags and put our shoes on. And we're going to go to another map. And I hope you brought your swimwear. Yeah, that's the only hint you're getting if you've already forgot. But nice work. How the LA Thieves there to finally clutch up on that attacking round. The final run, round five. Both teams proving to be so formidable on defense. And Envoy really was making plays, even the final uh, attacking round that Seattle had. Uh, again, that was a ton of ARs, but it was literally that moment right there where Envoy finds the flank to get the players out of sight just to make sure Max life is by his lonesome and too many players to deal with. So uh, Envoy, obviously, I mean, typical for him, game winning plays through and through. The flank's always going to be present on the map. And when he's finding success, uh, you assume everybody else on the Thieves is going to pretty much just follow in quick order. 
I don't know if we're actually going to catch it in the highlights, men, those spawns coming through. I think it was a little bit before this, so it's going to be a mystery to me, but not a mystery to LA. Again, advantage in the series, and the map we're going to now, Hydro, a spicy one, The Surge have only ever played it once. Well, Hydro it is. Map 4 here, a hard point. We promise you a longer series. None of that 3-0 bull that we've been getting recently. Come on, son, give me a good series. Give me a good series. And that is what we've got on our hands now, folks. 10 and 6 out of Kenneth. There in the uh, in, in the S and D, great work on LSC Lewis D for Kenny. Hey, good save, brother. I appreciate you. But that uh, control also, he did put the numbers up. Kenny has had a whale of a series so far today. The same can be said. Uh, a couple of members there, of, of course, from Seattle Surge. The respawns have been strong. Will they keep it going here on Hydro? That is the question I pose to you, Chance. Well, I think Kenny certainly will. Every single map he has been on point, but for Thieves, a two and three record overall, which means like solid, but nothing too crazy in either direction. It's just, it's LA Thieves. They're world champions. They're going to be a super yeah. well-rounded team in every single game mode. For those guys, it's about the development over the course of the year, where they really find their strengths, when they catch their rhythms, when they like collectively figure out the timings as like a team. For example, like the performance they just had on the LSC low control, I think you're going to see Octane try to get in that position time and time again when they're going towards that B zone. I think they're figuring out exactly how they want to play these rounds, but obviously outslayed by a little bit. A uh, solid performance there that they're going to look to carry through. And you always love when the team accuracy is perfect for both of them. Honestly, uh, it's kind of weird, right? That, 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 that they're both, a lot. It does, man. I mean, I suppose it's just, I, I don't know, it's this level of play or the nature of the map is crazy, man. Crazy. Well, there you go. Team accuracy, a stat that we may be looking at throughout the rest of this year and be like, this is creepy, man. There was a clip on uh, doing the rounds, I think, on Scum's Twitter of like both Ray and Shotzi at the same time, like both putting their arms over their heads and like, it just the simulation crapped out a few times today but we'll see if it keeps it all together on this hydro hard point coming up in just a moment a very very fun and uh contentious map here in the call of duty league world la thieves seattle surge neither teams are too fluid on this one i think chance is safe to say but we're almost ready to rock and roll on this one we're gonna be putting our swimmer on getting our snorkels out and getting them flip-flops on we're going to hydro and it should be a fun map for both of these teams because I know Seattle have only played it once, but Miles, we casted that map. Uh, and if you remember, I think it was Boston that they were playing against. Whatever team it was, I remember Seattle constantly were having, or maybe Minnesota, where like someone was always oh, yeah, yeah, spawning yeah. out or getting behind enemy lines. Like I think it was actually Bance constantly being annoying, making the plays towards the back. But Seattle, the entire time, we're on point with the reads. Like they were chaos spawns coming through on nearly every single hill, but Surge was was Johnny yes, on the well. spot, pretty on point. The comms were nice and fluid, and obviously I'm expecting the comms from LA Thieves to be like as on point, if not better. So uh, I don't think there's going to be too much funny business on this map, at least in terms of players being caught unaware. Well, we'll see. It's difficult to be aware on a map like Hydro, of course, with uh, 17 lanes, most of them being underwater. Uh, you know what's up, guys. We've had a server issue. We're going to get back into this one ASAP. But in the meantime, everyone on the LA Thieves, somebody cracked a good and and they're all cheesing and they're having a good time. We look at now the hard point ahead of us. Let's uh, go toe to toe. Let's see some head to heads between these two teams. Again, of both respawn wizards, dangerous stuff, but chance massive difference there in those rotations. Yeah, I mean, and this is obviously going to be a, a bit of a map specific thing as well, but LA Thieves definitely existing with just like the skill that they have of where they're struggling to rotate, but their breaks are on point. What do we see though on the first like hotel? As soon as the number one rotation team in the game got control of the game, well, they were simply too clean on the holds to let LA Thieves break through. So uh, overall, very strong record for both of them, but that 11th in rotation is gonna be a standout thing. And if LA Thieves don't start to address that, I mean, pretty much now, it's like the halfway point of the year. Every single team, like even the team that is at the bottom of the league in hard points is starting to be very competitive. So you gotta clean stats like that up and i'm seeing a map like hydro we'll be talking about the rotations the entire time so maybe a focus point for this game and i'd say the other side of that of like not just the thing for la thieves to focus on but also for seattle if they start winning search and destroys they're gonna be one of the best teams in the game like yep. their hard point in their respawn is ridiculous the stats are fantastic it's literally just the two five 
It's, uh, it's, it sounds so easy, man. Just like, guys, don't, <laughs> don't, don't. Just get an S&D under the belt. And they have. They've managed to prove to themselves that you can win them. Let's we'll see if they can keep winning them. That's the question, though. But the, que the, the big one for the LA Thieves going into this one, don't hate, rotate. It's all fun and games, laughing about water and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. Get in that water, son. Get over towards those new hard points. It'll accrue you a huge amount of points. And that goes for you folks at home as well. Playing rank play. Get in that water. Run a pistol. Win them gunfights. There's always going to be a guy down low. And guess what happened, ladies and gents? That's right. We've had a slight server issue. But until then, we're going to keep waxing lyrical about the good merits of a good old hydro hard... And Pred's had enough. He's out of here. He's gone. He's gone. See you later, Pred. He'll be back. <laughs> they always come back. Yeah, they will. Oh, no, Pred. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the overall points. Bryce, you brought this up in the last cast. Rightfully so. CDL points, friends. I mean, this is something that we, we typically don't worry too much about the first two majors, but we're now here. Major three on its way, the hump major, halfway through the season. And we're looking at the top eight teams. Those are the ones that are going to be going to champs. The bottom four right now. If we had to go to champs right now today, the bottom four ain't making it. Don't even pack your bags. Don't nothing. You're not coming. It's just the top eight. See those points get rolling up there. Seattle search for them, very, very, very important. They want to get themselves up a little bit more, create that buffer space. Team standings so far as well, Hitchhouse. Think about how absurd that is for Seattle Surge as well. Just the fact that like they're the team that's eighth on the bubble and the team that's directly behind them is Vegas Legion, who made a roster change. And the first thing they do is come out and like beat Atlanta Faze. So like it is dangerous teams immediately right behind you. Uh, and even teams like London, they might be 0-2. They might be super far down on the standings when it comes to CDL points. But like all of the maps they're playing have been incredibly close. Like it is nothing but dangerous threat after dangerous threat. And I think when we saw the actual points, LA Thieves, a little bit secure. They're in the top four range. They're doing a lot better on land compared to online. And we're getting these like top two, top three placings. That's a massive boon for the points. But for Surge, it's dangerous territory. Like on the bubble, it's like if the struggles they have had throughout the basically online portion of the year continue, they're going to be faced with the fact that they might end up in the bottom four. So every single match is going to be important. Every single collection of points you can get is going to go a long way. A really long way. And it's still a long season. We may be just still coming up on halfway, but still. The team staying so far here. Major three qualifiers. They have been wild. Boston Breach, top of that as well. Don't forget, Boston will be playing Florida in the next series. Can't wait for that one to get down as well. Long day of Call of Duty ahead of us, chaps. Cannot wait to get into that. Bryson Tun waiting in the wings for that one. It's going to be a barrel of laughs. Here we go into Hydro Hardpoint map number four. Andraza, one of the finest to touch the ranked play ladder this season with a point one, well, 1.04. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? You'll never guess. We're into the game. Let's go, baby. You actually baited me so hard right there. I, I got my baited mind, by I didn't hear the they call, so I was just... It's not my fault. It was, it was the team. It was the lovely folks in Columbus. Oh, they were pulling my tit. Here we go, baby. Max already swimming. We're going towards that new hard point. He's already hitting the rope. Uh, that is great techniques on his pullouts as well. I, I mean, look, he's broken every single rule. If this was like Olympic standards, because you only get one before he'd come out, but he's got the extra kicks in the mix, and now he's got a flank to do literally nothing. Gets instantly shut down, and perfection on the opening break for LA. LA Thieves holding down Hydro. Watertight defense so far. See what I did there, chat? Yeah, that's right. We'll be here all series. Looking for another down low water wrap. It's going to be Envoy keeping... Oh, no. Keeping control of nothing so far. But look at number seven. That's Mac. And now Pred taking a dip. Going for a swim. Trying to get across map. Avoiding those dangerous guns, the LA Thieves, for now. But if they can get to the other side of the map, that's where the problem starts. And this is all looking like problems so far. Oh, LA Thieves, the team 11th in rotation. You see Mac already the first player that's able to get through. And Envoy might be at the back of the map too. I mean, try to keep the spawns, but really he's only blocking the spawns for Seattle as Surge have been pouring on the pressure on the point. And all of this just to not win the rotation. All of that works to get to the back, and it's still going to take you 20 seconds to actually break through. But hey, I guess the good news is you did break through. LA Thieves maybe able to get it done. Someone's got to trade Pred. No, Thieves. No. It takes so long to be able to get this time. It's so hard, man. Hydro is a brutal and cruel map at the best of times. 25 remaining on the second point here. We're already looking towards next. That's what Draz is going for the fight here. And this long, protracted gunfight against Sid finally comes to a close. His sixth kill 
in the game so far. Three in a row for him, and we're going to look towards that new hard point. All Seattle, top left hand side of the minimap, ladies and gents. Cast your eyes, and here come Draza. And look, I mean, I'd say the only thing for LA could have been a lot better, but still pretty good. You have a sizable lead going into new, but Mac obviously very precocious about these spawns. He is playing the deepest pocket of the map, and he could hear that coming a mile away. You can see from third person that reaction, the footsteps on top of the mountain, and now it's just about those gunfights straight through the front, or no one for search blocked the spawns. Now you're going to beat a pinch. You lose the good spawns, and poor Mac, all the work he tried to do it on the flank just to get delivered into a kill box. And now you have LA Thieves. Might not have technically won the rotation, but it looks like they're going to be in prime position to actually win this hill and run up the lead just a little bit more. Doing the best. Up top. Good cleanups now. You've got a couple of members of Surge winding up for this hit. They should be able to get in here. Close range checks. All the corners. Nice work. Oh, tags in. It's the submachine gun. Masterclass. Oh, out of Envoy alone. Gets them both nearly there from Surge. Mac on the quick spawn of the back line. Not enough to get Kenny. Simply too hot to handle right now as the hard point back and forth we go over towards the far right hand side of the map. That's up next. And again, for Hydro, it is a tough one. You have to oscillate between these far corners of the map. Difficult to take the routes. Difficult to watch them as well. This is going to be tough, too, because Kenny's about to shoot three players in the back. Everybody coming through the mid alley. There's one for Kenny. Everybody else going to have to scatter. So Sib's trying to do what he can off to the side. And honestly, a kill like that could be pretty impactful. Because I know Kenny was making a play, but now Envoy in the water is just a dead fish in the sea. And I think just because Octane fell, yep, Surge, it is just a walk straight through the front. Octane, last man standing, hiding in a corner. And hey, does a good enough job to get the kill to get his teammates to spawns. But the better news for Surge, Siv is now on an eight spree on that rotation. Count them, ladies and gents, eight. A lot of records have been cracked thus far here on MW2. We're looking to crack a few more. See how Surge with a nice bit of time here. A few more seconds would be ideal. Back on the back versus Draza, and that is a big old rock to be snaking on top of, and he gets it. Sib, though, makes it a nine. 12 and 8 overall. See if he can get a few more for those kills. And we're going towards the next hard point, the generator room. It's a tiny one. It's a fun one. Here we go. All that parkour okay. and that's how your street gets shut down. That is just unfortunate and a half. And well, now you're trying to flood in and cross the middle of the map. Envoy is getting tags on players as they make those moves. But maybe Pred found the route towards the deep pocket of the map. And now you got the pinch on the hill. Mac hitting it from the back. Pred from a pop. And I think unfortunate for Kenny, last man standing around the hill gets eviscerated in the perfect swarm on the hill. So to get the job done. Still holding it down. Big win to Mac. There's a third at the back door if you can get it, son. As the thieves start to swarm their way forward. Oh, Mac once again, locking it down. Doesn't actually catch that player through the front line, though. Will accuracy catch him? As look at him move. It's Octane. Not bad for a main AR. He's got them slinky hips flying in and out of that tiny window. Final 15 seconds here for Seattle Surge to recruit some time and get themselves back into this one chance because it's still a very closely contested game either way. Yeah, good luck reading these spawns, right? Number one, Octane spawns up over towards Dome. Number four, Envoy spawns out on the deep left side of the map. And I think Surge just sort of know the idea. So they're putting a lot of pressure towards the middle portion of this map. Taking the water routes to get the time. But Octane is still the key man right now for LA. And I think Octane can actually hear Sib on the approach. And it's really just a, about these battle for spawns. Surge right now, though, getting all the kills. They don't have the spawns, but hey, I guess you've done enough just to get the pressure around this P1 point. Oh. And as soon as Octane falls, the P1 time going to be that much easier to collect. Yeah, real easy. Smooth shots from Mac there. All of that through that little shack. And this is good time. Are you going to be able to spot this player off the water site? Yeah, not. It's Envoy. He dives up. Pred's now got mid covered. Perfect time. It's another 11 11 all around. This might be enough to get the break towards the back. That's what Prez playing for here. Spawns for the next hard point. Can he get there? It was a vast nev as well. So these are not fun gunfights for him to have to take. Also, oh, he didn't get hurt actually jumping up. So guess who doesn't have their uh, audio cranked up just high enough, but Envoy takes another lap and finds them. And unfortunate timing right there for Pred to fall because you call on the cruise, but now there's only two men guns up ready to hit the point. He's forced to hit the man, not actually on the action. And when Octane jumps off, finds an extra kill. I think just the fact that they were an extra man down for Surge, tough to get a, a massive amount of value off that cruise. Oh, and you're running out of players now for the LA team. Sources backline. The spawn should still be really rock tight. 
Rock tight. What a tight rock solid in the far right side of the map. And I take it back. Octane's now top left. That's going to cause a problem indeed. 30 seconds remaining on this one. And it's not over just yet. LaRue could go big in a moment, but he has to hold. Can Draza stay alive? He just about ow, gets wow. it from the hip. That's nothing. 20 seconds remaining as this hard point is coming to an explosive end. Yeah, good time for Thieves to get for that little bit of scrap. Just have a decent little lead, but Envoy, yeah, that is not exactly cover. They can see straight through it. So he does get sniffed out. No rotation sneakiness coming through for LA. Gonna have to find a different way to try to break this hill. They got to break through the middle of the map as well. Sib's going to be watching that cross. Accuracy's got the crossfire set up as well. Right now, pretty clean hold. Not easy to deal with. And Sib wins the gunfight as well. LA have such a long way to go. Oh, oh, oh. Envoy knows. There's a player behind him. There's a shark in the water. And Sib... I don't think he's running anything other than the attack there, but he's not going to be able to do too much damage from down low. Can't help out too much from upstairs. His teammates are doing what they can on the point. Here we go. LA Thieves want this break. Don't let Seattle Surge get further ahead. That's the goal right now. And Mac, oh, oh Mac wins two. Unreal stuff on the flank. Kenny, though, immediately in there. Traded out. LaRue can't get any more. Sib goes big with a two. Yeah, now I think if I'm Surge trying to leave over the back spawns, or maybe just get the final 30 seconds. LA Thieves forced to chalk all of it up. So that is an electric hill. And if you remember last time, Envoy played deep in the water. This time, Sib is going to be taking his turn to swim. Oh, and he, he's and the water is not chlorinated. It is not easy to spot him out, but draws it. The awareness was there. Yeah, he was at enough of a depth that he could not be seen whatsoever there. But just as he comes up for air, draws it with a good timing there on the turn. Still looking to get the lead back. The LA Thieves, Mac once again driving the dagger into the back line of the front. If that makes sense to you, let me know on a postcard. Envoy is trying to keep the hard point alive as you've got numbers now for the Thieves towards the back. Pred trying to hit his way through the front. Can't get it done. Sib on the oh, side. Man. Every angle covered. Thieves with the time. And now the lead. Oh, yeah, that is clean. And now Mac going to be forced to take deep routes. But you're going to get spotted. Impossible gunfight to win. And LA Thieves much stronger hold on this hill this time around. Last time it literally took a nine spree from Sib to eventually break those spawns and get to his hill time. And for the moment for Surge, nobody able to deliver. Kenny goes on a little tear towards the middle of the map, cleans everybody up, and talk about the response in that moment where Surge get a near full 60. You have LA Thieves responding in kind. But again, as those rotation battles commence, on rotation, nobody for LA Thieves able to find an opening. Surge closed that door, but also for Surge, I mean, it's sink or swim time on this map. Got to be perfect for the series ends. See what he did there, chat? You see what he did? And you see what he did? Over 200 now for the LA Thieves. Seattle Surge looking to hold down this line. And this is a very similar look. And awkward spawns. Number one. Oh, my God. Octane's right in the back. This should be fine, though, because... <laughs> Sib. The back line's safe and sound. And now through the front. Pred reads it. Oh, baby. Seattle Surge. They've taken on all comers, and they're still on top. Uh, that is so distant as well. Sid playing parts of the map. Half the people watching didn't even know existed that you could get that far <laughs> back. And, well, Sib is still in his home. Draws it nowhere to go. And it's actually Pred that gets the kill. You got players trying to sneak through. Sib has still been iron boots towards the back. And the full 60 that they wanted, it looks like they might just be able to oh get. They have God. taken the lead again. But we know how this map goes, and we know almost assuredly it is going to end on P2. And look at where number eight just spawns, gets gifted like a, a presence to try to set up a pinch on this hill and just create all this pressure. LA Thieves, they're fighting the, the two front wars. They couldn't be scripted, right? Sure, they couldn't be. Well, he's taken care of there. Wonderful work from Envoy. No hops. No negative hops, but he's in. Still dripping that's wet. So now he's dead. That's bad timing. That's unfortunate. Lead change maybe one of the cards here, but number four has got to go wild. Envoy what wins it again. That's the backside covered for P2 once again. Still in the hands of the LA Thieves. Now looking to get another hard point. Pred over the top. Not a whole lot garnered there. Accuracy hops this time round. A little cleaner. The gunny not so much. Kenny with the corners. Lead change again. LA Thieves can win it here. Oh, this could be it, though, just because it's a desperate battle for spawns as well. But Seattle, they have such a long way to go. Draza, desperate to stay alive inside the point. Seattle can't win it here, so now it is all about that battle for rotation. And every single player on LA Thieves is falling one by one. Octane, though, can pick up the big two, and his teammates get the spawns just in time for the trades. Now it's all about the sprint fest, right? Seattle, got to hit it straight through the front. You do not have time to waste. Envoy does not have sonar. He has to use his eyes to detect people in the waters now 10 seconds for the win here in the series for the la thieves anyone there from seattle to make their way forward kills from sib max down the next man up oh my octane up top he's gonna get it two more seconds no one's home nobody's there it's a 3-1 to the la thieves 
Get the spawns for P2 and hey, finally winning those rotations, Miles. Yeah, finally, indeed. And that is a, uh, it's going to bump the stats for the LA Thieves, indeed, for Seattle's close, but no cigar. Word to nameless 3 1, the final result. It's a very exciting respawn based series comes to a close. A nutty cl comeback, a nutty close out in the final round of the control. And of course, Seattle showing a bit of signs of life in the search and destroy, but not quite enough there. As we look across the final scores there on Hydro Sib with a big game there at 30 and 21. Across the board, everyone from the Thieves mostly solid. And Kenny, of all the players, not to have a big one. Well, really, it was like Sib, not with it. Like, it was a solid game, but really just a fantastic moment that bumped his stats up again. The nine spree that he goes on just to start, like, creating opportunities for Seattle. But if not for a pop-off play like that, this game looks a lot worse. And I'd say even for Draza, the turnaround that he had, I think we shut off his stats before the map, like a .68 in the series. Obviously, they got bullied out map one. Draza struggled on the control as well. Well, he cranked things up across the board on the Hydro to... Help seal the deal for his team. And I'd say even for Octane, when he's top dome, if he doesn't get that two-piece, uh, I don't know if LA Thieves are going to be able to win that game towards the end because Surge were putting on the pressure. But clutch moments on the LSTLO, clutch moments on the Hydro, and even the comeback, Thieves were able to orchestrate in the S&D as well. The ice certainly flowing through their mains. Indeed. Well, I see on Hotel for Seattle there. That was a very dominant look in the hard point. We'll see if they can keep that going this year long. But another loss to Seattle. Tough stuff from them. LA Thieves walk away with a dub. And oh, your boys' predictions so far are looking pretty sweet. How we doing, Desk? We feeling good? Not looking as sweet, but feeling twice as sweet, Miles. Thank you for asking. LA Thieves getting the victory here. And we were a little bit worried for this team after that game one. Then they went three straight, Allie. Yeah, a little bit worrisome in that opening hotel, but it did technically go the same way when they first matched up. And I will say, though, I'm happy to see LAD's rotating on Hydro. Rotating One of the worst to rotating winning. teams, yeah. They're, they're moving around yeah. the map now, and it helps. <laughs> We like what we saw out of Draza specifically. Let's take a look back at some of these highlights, though. And as we take a look at some of the key moments in this game, Nameless, yeah. what did you like from both sides? Uh, well, first of all, let's just shout out the LA Thieves. Big victory for them. But I got to say, because it just happened, that Jens hold by Seattle Surge was the best P5 hold I've ever seen on Hydro. I mean, just beautiful. Pred pushing out, Sib in the back, being aware of the spawns. Uh, but for LA Thieves, you know, she had a couple key uh, times they had really good holds. I mean, that P4 was fantastic. They stacked three players around the hill. They got Octane on the back rock and they picked up the kills in the water. So overall, you know, some good holds out of them. Some better rotations. Still not as clean as I would have liked to see out of the LA Thieves, but they're working on things. And Hydro can just be sort of that kind of map where it's like back and forth 60s left and right. And we saw that here. It's two great hardpoint teams. And in the end, it's LA Thieves who end up getting that final P2 spawn, just prioritizing it and getting the kills that they need. Yeah, and what's super weird about this, again, this Hydro hardpoint, both these teams typically veto it. I mean, we're looking at 90% of the time Seattle Surge gets that out of a series and 50% of the time LA Thieves are trying to get that out of a series. So like I touched on, they are the worst rotating team in the league on that map mode. So to see them early rotating, that's what got them that W with all those P2 holds is a W from the LA Thieves camp. It was almost even around 226, but at the end, it is LA Thieves to the finish line first. And right now we have someone in the winner's circle. Welcome Kenny back onto the show. How we doing, Ken? Good, how are you? How are you? I'm doing excellent, especially with another swift day. Yesterday was all three O's. You guys at least give us a game four. Thank you. But what was it yeah. like, Kenny? Was this a stressful series for you guys? What were the vibes like coming into this match against the Surge? Um, I don't think it was that stressful. I feel like we just came out slow in the first hard point. And uh, I mean, they kind of just dominated us at first once. So, uh, I feel like we kind of hit, hit the reset button, and it felt it feels good to win an SND and reset an SND. I feel like that's something that we had in our back pocket last year, and that's something we've been working on. But overall, I don't think this, the series was that stressful. I just feel like um, once again, we just had a bad map one. I was really impressed by your ability to close games out, especially that game three and that game four. As we saw tight matches, it was LA Thieves at the end that was coming out with the dub. What is it about those yeah. final moments of the game? Is it just scoring the kills at the right time, or is this <laughs> something that you guys are doing on the comms? Um, it's definitely a comms thing, but I feel like it's our chemistry as well. I feel like we have some of the best teamwork, so when it comes to like those uh, it was like heated, heated about battle moments like where we have to clutch up. I feel like our teamwork just kind of like is already like implemented and glued. So we kind of just like work together without calm sometimes. And I feel like it works really well in like the clutch moments because we kind of like all think the same. 
in a sense. And so when our chemistry's on, we kind of just like tend to tend to clutch up a lot. Cool. I know you guys. I know you said that you guys started slow in the series, and that's why that map one went the way that it did. But you, on a personal level, I think you were frying throughout every single map in this series. And I was wondering. I mean, that Alessilo, 27 and 21. You know, it's not very often we see somebody with his oven hand popping off like that. What's your favorite map? Favorite map? Yeah. Um. Well, it's 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 usually Mercado Hardpoint, but they they vetoed it today. Um. But yeah, I mean, LSI I've been pulling out of AR a little bit more because the map is so, I feel like, so long range heavy that eight, like three ARs typically work on defense at least. But um, yeah, I mean, Mercado Hardpoint is probably my favorite. Uh, Kenny, you're a jack of all trades. I've seen you pulling out that AR. I'm like, finally, somebody uses three and it gets to a CeeLo. And it was working out really well. There were some tense moments there, though. Yep. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, a CeeLo search and destroy coming into this series. You guys are three and eight on that map. You had some really tight ones. You had some round 11s. What is it about that map that yeah. you guys keep going to it for? Like, what did you see in it? Uh, because it hasn't been the greatest for you guys up until this point. <laughs> I mean, I think we, I'm pretty sure we're like top two or top three in like first buds on that map. It's kind of just like our man advantage thing. So we don't feel like, I mean, our record shows they were ass or sorry, bad at it. Um, <laughs> That's okay. But, <laughs> yeah, shows they were bad at it, but I, overall, I feel like we choke it a lot of the times where we're up a man and we kind of just like lose these clutch scenarios where I, I did say we win them, but it's usually when um, we're down a man, but usually we're up a man on that map. And I feel like that's something we've been working on is just like uh, in these man up, like moments we need to like work together way better. You guys had a rough start to the season. You finished second in Boston and now we're just two weeks away from going to Texas. How many teams do you feel accurately have a chance of raising that trophy at the end? Um, I mean, I feel like all teams right now. I don't know. Do I feel like this game. I actually do. I, I mean, Maybe a few, not, but I feel like every team you got to stay hot versus because anybody can catch you slipping. I mean, Vegas beat us. They played really well on that day. And I feel like a lot of, I mean, they just, they just got a new player. So I feel like this game can lead to some upsets and it showed, All it right, shows. Kenny. It's been showing the whole, whole league. We appreciate your time. We got two more matches to go. You're a badass. If you're getting fine, I'm going down with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Much love to Kenny and the LA Thieves pulling out our second win of the day. We got to show you our scuff play of the game. And this, of course, was the close to that second hard point. They dropped game one. But game four goes to the Thieves. Here's how they got it done. Allie, walk us through it. I mean, it was just a lot of the rotations. Like I said, from the likes of the LA Thieves, they were constantly here early, but it's actually going to be the control Control play. game five. When All right, Kenny pops go. a two, and look at Sam, man. When he was in that deep spot on Trunk, I do that in rank play, and they get really mad at me. And I can only imagine the Seattle Surge getting stuck in this spawn trap by Octane. Yeah, he, was, he had them in the bun. I mean, when you get back there, you're blocking. You can see them just all running over, trying to get to bottom base, get through tool and make a play. And Fred actually gets out, but it's just him. So there's not much you can do when he's in your back head. LA Thieves locking it down, scoring that fifth round, and then going on to finish their sweep. After dropping game one, they went back to back to back maps and are continuing to climb up our leaderboard. Currently in that number four position, but challenging Toronto and the subliners. We still got a lot of fun to go this weekend, and we have two more matches. When we come back, the Mutineers are back in action. Boston looks to stay perfect. You don't want to miss it. It's all going down. Major three qualifiers live here on the CDL. Can I, can I... Oh! oh! You oh!